For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. If x to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0, then what is the numerical value of x raised to the power of 10? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, given this equation, we have x to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0. Then our goal is to find the numerical value of x raised to the power of 10. Now, our approach to this question is, let's take first the given equation x raised to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0. From here, take note that x is not equal to 0 because if we let all x be equal to 0, this becomes 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, 16 is not equal to 0. So therefore, x is not equal to 0. Now, why is this important? Because what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by x. Now, x times 0, since x is not equal to 0, any number times 0 must be equal to 0. And then, let's distribute this x to x raised to the fourth power, 2x cubed, 4x squared, we have 8x, and 16. And if we do that, we get x raised to the fifth power plus 2x raised to the fourth power plus 4x cubed plus 8x squared plus 16x. Now, take note that x is not equal to 0, and now let's focus on this result. So now, this 2, this 4, this 8, and this 16, take note, we have 2 times 1 and get 2, 2 times 2 and get 4, 2 times 4 we have 8, and 2 times 8 we have 16. Now what I mean is we can factor out a common factor of 2 in these four terms. And if we do that, we get 2 times the quantity x raised to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x. So we can replace our original expression with its factored form. Now, this is familiar, x raised to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x. This is the same thing as this given. So now let's get this equation, and why not? Let's subtract 16 on both sides. And if we do that, we get the value of x raised to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x must be equal to negative 16. So we can replace the whole expression right over here with its value negative 16. And now, let's focus on this result. So we have x raised to the fifth power plus 2 times negative 16 equals 0. Positive 2 times negative 16, this is very simple, this is just negative 32. Now, add 32 on both sides, so we have x raised to the fifth power equals 32. Now, what we want is the value or the numerical value of x raised to the tenth power. So why not square on both sides? Because using this, we can use this identity this law of exponent, if we have b raised to the power of a raised to the power of c, this must be equal to b raised to the power of a times c. 2 times 5, this will give us 10. So the left hand side of our equation is just x raised to the power of 10. And so, x raised to the power of 10 must be equal to 32 raised to the power of 2. And when we simplify this, 32 times 32, this will give us 1000. 24. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the value or the numerical value of x raised to the 10th power given this equation, x raised to the 4th power plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals to 0, then our answer is 1024. And as always, we are done.